I'm known for singing those big songs in musicals like Memory from Cats and Defy Gravity from Wicked, which are big, belty songs. And to sing those kind of songs eight times a week can be tricky. People might think with, um, with belty songs that you sound really loud and you sound really big, but I think the key is to not over sing, to not push, because you're never gonna get through eight shows and you have to kind of sit back on it. Although it sounds nice and open and full and it sounds like it's very strong, it's not shouting, it's not screaming, it's definitely not that. I've always kind of, used my whole body to sing. If I don't come off um, from singing a, a song exhausted, body, heart, soul, voice, then I feel I haven't done it properly. When you do learn to sing and with your teachers, make sure you learn properly. So belting can also be like a mix, um, which is a mix of like your top voice and your lower register. Mm -hmm. And you might have heard that that glitch in my, in my in my break. That is the middle of your voice, and ironing over that is is really important to be able to not show the audience that you've got those breaks in your voice. All alone with a memory of my days in the sun. When you're born, you're actually born with a natural belting voice. If you hear a baby, a newborn baby shout, they'll have that nice twangy sound, which is kind of a ah. And it's a nice open sound, it's not restricted in any way. So you're actually born a, a brilliant belter. It's just about developing that voice, and taking that belt a little bit further forward. From ah, 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 so, ah, 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 so, ah, so, if you care to find me, look to the western sky. You want to just keep it nice and open and relaxed so you're not restraining at any time. All the support, all the breath in everywhere else but in here so that there's no restraint so you don't damage your voice.